Howdy guys, we have Reboot between Reloaded Land, Lamb and Matt McBack. Yeah. Look at that Dread Charger start so instantly. It makes me so jealous. <laughs> Why? Because your scavenger takes so long. Yes, because the scavenger <laughs> takes forever. <laughs> it just feels like it, because the Dread Charger is so immediate. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, Fire, Fire Nature has it good. I just... I always get jealous when I see like mountaineers and I see dread chargers start immediately and I see storm stingers and all that. But I always get jealous in tier two when I see uh, burrows and skyfire drakes <laughs> destroying everything. So no reason to complain because fire nature is amazing, very amazing. You know you have burrowers too with your shadow shadow nature. Yeah, that's true, and I spam them a lot. <laughs> <laughs> not even not even a little guilty. <laughs> but I don't have a Skyfire Drake, so Okay. Alright, so Dread Chargers versus uh Master Archers. I think that you can see that Reloaded Lamp is not playing uh Frost as his main deck. Hmm. Because he just wasted okay. That is interesting. <laughs> That is very interesting. Yeah. I think Actually, it's good though. Sure if Pro that was good. Oh. Okay, if he micros that well, um, he's actually. Okay, no. Sorry. If, if who micros what well? Um, I thought that if Reloaded Lamp is microing his Ice Guardians well, that could possibly be a very good decision to take this well. Mm hmm. I'm always a bit. I'm. I'm not sure if you should uh, very close wells like this um, versus uh, versus a shadow tier one because of the forsaken. Even though if you play frost and you have the knockback and strong s counters, mm -hmm. he, he uh, hasn't been playing frost mage though. So yeah, because they get wrecked right now. <laughs> if he would play frost mages, they would just they would be gone instantly. He'd also kill a lot of forsaken though. One thing, I don't know if this is viable, but what occurs to me is that maybe if uh, Matt Midback frenzies too many Forsaken, he can just like pop a Glacier Cell and then run his units away. That's what I thought also right now, but... Oh... Yeah. Hmm. Maybe that would have been the best choice. But I think the main problem was that he completely wasted... Um, those two master archers in the beginning. Mm -hmm. He also hasn't the played home soil. That's true. That uh, would have made it a lot easier. Yeah. And he should uh, regain the shield of the ice guardian. Mm -hmm. Looks like he's doing that. Yeah, he's got the power for home soil, but he's not doing it. And he should start microing his master archers better. If he can um, keep those master archers alive. This guy's gonna has, nasty. Like, yeah. No, 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 he's not going to nasty. Oh, okay. Life oh. weaving. Okay, you should ignore him and. Okay. No, we're not ignoring. No, we're not. Yeah. Okay. Now we can ignore him. <laughs> yeah. Is Ice Guardian gonna get it off? Oh, almost. Not quite. Yeah. Now you can hit the the Dread Charger again. Whoa! This is interesting. <laughs> yeah. This is been, this is interesting. Now. I, I don't know who's gonna get it. Yeah, if if Reloaded Lamp would play his Master Archers um, more behind, and the moment the Forsaken starts shooting at them, just retreat, then uh, mm -hmm. I mean. Oh, it looks like they're gonna trade. It's just about. It's just about um, the thing, the Forsaken. They don't live for forever because he just instantly activates them all the time. Yeah. So if you can just always um, have like six or seven seconds where the forsaken just deal like only a little damage to your master archers they run after them he realizes that they won't stop running so he just starts focusing the well again mm -hmm. um, and that time is very very good for reloaded lamp yeah mm. yeah but he didn't do So a contract on the stream says motivate would have won the well earlier. Uh, yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. 
But home soil may have also been useful earlier. Neither player used them, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. What I would have done, I would have just, um, like I said, I would have retreated my my master archers, and once I have a good army, I would start playing my home soil mm -hmm. and use my well as a. Ooh, he takes a s another well. Okay. Okay. He's brave. Yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> That is going to be very interesting. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and he's going to two. Mm -hmm. Don't know why. Fire. Bandits. Maybe that's the reason. But um, I'm not sure. I f I feel like if he would have just started a massive Nox Trooper spam and micro them very well, he could have kicked both worlds. Oh, both of them? Yeah, because... With a Nox Trooper spam, you're not just starting uh, to focus a well at some point, you're just... If you can manage to get the huge army advantage, you will kick the well and you will have such a lead that he has to go tier 2 to defend that. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a rallying banner. Oh, That's God. dangerous. Reloaded Lamb is just going tier 2. Yeah. Nature. Stunkin. I was like, the most defensive deck against... Well, we can't call Bandits the most aggressive deck, but... Of uh, course we can. We can call it the most aggressive deck because it has the worst def defense. <laughs> it's not the best offensive deck, but it definitely is the most offensive deck. <laughs> I don't know, Bandits has better defense than, than, than Pure Fire. No. I think I think Aura of Corruption is better for defense than Wildfire. Yeah, I I know. It's maybe at some points it's okay, but I mean, you won't just play um, one huge army versus. Why stone shards? Bandits. Like, of all the units you could spawn right now, why stone shards? When you got a whole bunch of S counters here. You spawn some S units that are not S counters to kill the S units that are S counters. And that's the first time he played a hurricane. That's interesting. No, it's not. He's played, I think, maybe two or three by now. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Oh shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I didn't. I didn't hear it. It sounded like you were going to say something, and the audio cut out. So, <laughs> look at Providence. <laughs> heal and yeah right now I think he should have defended that defended I'm what very curious if he would if uh, Matnik back is playing warriors deck because I never played that card and I never saw it getting played so it's I probably, really want to see it it's probably because all the good players have like too much honor to use warriors death <laughs> you really think that 15 out of 20 Shadow Frost top 20 players have too much honor to play. Warrior's Death is a Fire Frost or Fire Shadow card. I don't, I don't think that it's the honor that keeps them away from playing. If you're Warriors playing Bandits, Death. then you're obviously an honorable person. <laughs> okay, that's the point. Like you're either an honorable, if you're a good player, you're honorable, or you're too bad to realize that Bandits are bad. By the way. X Ekatron says that Wildfire is better, um, I guess, better than Arm of Corruption, and that the Enforcers are very good at defense because they're charged. Which, yeah, that's true. I could see that. Yeah, it's just like you won't attack, you won't uh, use a huge army at one point versus Bandits because you just know if you do split attacks with CC versus Bandits, you basically won the match. So. Hmm. And that Phoenix did nothing? Yeah. He's, he's spawning another one though. Um, I love it. I love that so much. The Storm Singer? <laughs> no, not the Storm Singer. Of course, also the Storm Singer. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, but I love that um, those railing banner attacks with bandits and then he's just 
spawning those shadow phoenixes to take advantage of the corpses. Hmm. Okay. But yeah, it didn't work out that good in that case. Hmm. There's a Skyfire Drake, which is an interesting choice to add amidst all these archers um, and Stormsinger. Oh, that was close. What well, was close? I don't know what happens if the Stormsinger uses her ability and um, the Skyfire Drake flies over a cliff. He is Does really buffing scale? this. I think it gets sucked back over here. Okay. I'm not sure, but I think that's what happens. But hey, we've got... Radical X in the stream, which is very beneficial. Radical X, what happens if, uh, or we'll Exekatron? Find... I don't know who you I are in the forums. That he doesn't know. I'm sorry. I will find things that even Radical X doesn't know. <laughs> he knows like everything, even, and he still has to. He still knows you. them. That's what's most impressive, I think. Oh, okay. Exekatron says the ability gets canceled. Okay. Who who are you, by the way, on the forums? Are you is it different from your trip trip from your Twitch name? Who are you talking to? Uh, X Ekon Trunks. I I can't say his name. I believe that it's just a Smurf account of Radical X because he likes Smurf accounts so much. <laughs> so he's on here twice. <laughs> yeah, I think that he's just twice in the stream. That, um, yeah. Oh, it's anonymous. Okay. That makes oh, sense. Shit. Oh, while I was talking, I didn't even notice tier 3 went up. So there's a tier 3. I'm such a bad commentator. You are. Luckily, you have me. <laughs> what? Luckily, you have me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, like yeah, bro. That's joke of the day. Okay. So, yeah. we didn't see any tier 3 units yet. Yeah, we did. We saw the timeless one. We did? That's how I noticed tier 3 went up. Come on. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just reading the stream. I'm, sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm losing focus. Domkuz says that he could play better than tier 3 burrowers. Uh... I don't know, Burrowers can still be strong in tier 3. I don't know, I mean, if you are forced to play Burrowers, why did you even go tier 3 in the first place? Yeah, that's true. But, yeah, I guess it depends what you've got in your tier 3. Yeah, I mean, he's still forced to play his tier 2 units, so... Mm -hmm. The only thing that's added was is his timeless one yeah but you have to admit that timeless one is like the absolute defense yeah timeless one and stonekin warrior oh and he well still drops very good uh magma back and we see lots of uh shadow phoenixes yeah yes we do Oh, he froze. <laughs> that looks pretty weird. Yeah. Oh, he regenerates. We've got lots of Shadow Phoenixes now. Oh my god, what is going on? <laughs> looks like Mike Mac Mac Back is having the comeback. I don't think so. I still think that um, Reloaded has this, has this match in the back. Okay. Because if he doesn't lose his tier 3, and is able to defend even though he okay looks like tier three is gone what were you saying i thought that if reloaded lamp even though if he would last like all of his wells if he would have stayed tier three he would he would have won the match because i mean it's bandits <laughs> defensive bandits versus tier three yeah wow. bandits has a very strong tier three though yeah, but, I mean, if he's tier 2 and playing versus tier 3, I mean... Right. But I don't, if you've lost all of your wells, then your opponent has probably gone tier 3. Maybe. Yeah. 
Okay, but uh, now Madnik is going tier 3, and I... Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I think that this is over. <laughs> you think that you're back is one now? I'm not sure. You should destroy this rolling banner. You know it's going to free also. And they have the same amount. No. no. Yeah, they have the same amount of worlds. Mm hmm. Oh, well, there's still a good lot of time left in here. Yeah, this is fun replays. This is a good pick. You still see the burrowers. Yeah, you should. I guess he had the burrower from earlier. Maybe? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I think, yeah, those are new borrowers. Why does he not have, like, Silver and Lancers in his deck? Silver and Lancers is probably better than the borrower. I think maybe he just plays a um, Timeless One and Tremor to your free. Hmm. Maybe. Okay. Almost. Oh. You, you're up, you're up, you're up, you're up, you're up, you're up. No, he wasn't paying attention. That sounded pretty weird. What? <laughs> that sounded like a screw like song. A rub, 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 rub. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, no, erupt. Do the eruption. But he didn't. <laughs> yeah, you just, you just rolled a hit. Oh, wait. I was looking at the wrong person's power. No, he definitely had power for an eruption. Yeah, maybe he just uh, was distracted because he was losing a well in his on his second orb. Mm hmm. Okay, and there is the Aura of Corruption. Ooh, he... I don't know what killed him, but he died. Yeah, but right now, uh... Reloaded Lamb is up. Oh, well. Yeah, I mean, he basically was up a well the whole time, so... Mm -hmm. He should have gotten a lead. I'm otherwise. sorry? He should have gotten a lead because he had um, three, wo three wells and Matt Nick back had two wells the whole time um, Matt Nick's attacks were going on. Yeah. So even though he lost those two wells, um, he was not at a huge disadvantage. Mm -hmm. He may even be at an advantage because he did not need to repair those wells and kick Matt Nick's wells. Yeah, he also lost uh, a monument. That's true. There was a hundred power less in the void. Another R of corruption. Lava field and there we go. That kills the timeless ones. The stone warrior still lives. Yeah, damage reduction is pretty sick. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I I feel like people don't um, recognize the power of damage reduction of the uh, stone king units. I mm -hmm. mean, fifty percent. Damage reduction is actually pretty good. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's like... It's a lot. <laughs> that's maybe and like 300 more health. And a Stone Warrior already has like nearly 2,400 health. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. For, for him, it's almost 300 more health. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Oh. And does he play the green one or the purple one? The the blue one. No no, I mean the disenchant. Oh. Look like the purple one. There we go, we've got a soul hunter. Um Which is interesting because stone warriors kill soul hunters and soul hunters kill stone warriors. I mean he can just like Hardcore buff his soul hunter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe he should destroy his railing banner. Yeah. Because it is standing standing there for a while now. Yeah. Oop, are we gonna see the game is looks like it's close to ending. Soul Hunter? Is he gonna is he gonna blow this all up? No, I don't think so. But why is the oh my god. Oh god. Hey, hey, he's almost there. <laughs> he's really buffing this guy. Oh, oh and oh, the splash damage, the reflected damage kills it. <laughs> Look at that. He can just rebuild. He can just rebuild as well. Yeah. 
Uh, his monument, sorry. Oh, and these power walls just dropped. So nobody has power walls right now. Oh, except Reloaded has two power walls. Yeah, so maybe he'll come back again. <laughs> yeah, this is, a, this is a good game. This is exciting. This is why Battleforge games are so fun to spectate. I would rather play those games, but I can. That, I can. That's true. I would rather play an amazing game than spectate one, but right now there's not really an option, so <laughs> we'll take what we can get. Yeah, that's true. Maybe he should have healed those. Oh, he doesn't have his nature monument, sorry. Mm -hmm. Has he plays three different... Oh, no, he doesn't. Okay, and I think that Reloaded can still come back because Metnik has no wells for yeah. a minute now or for two minutes. And Reloaded has a, a bigger score, so um, at this point he can play sort of defensively and he should... Uh, yeah. At what? this point, the Nature Splash has, has a huge lead because um, once you get, um, I mean, Nature is a control, is like a control deck, mm -hmm. a Nature Splash, and once both players have low energy and both have standing armies, it's like this base trade. If you base trade with a Nature, the Nature has the advantage because they are better in securing their units and without having... Uh, huge um yeah void energy mm. all right so uh reloaded wins that was a very exciting game back and forth thank you guys for watching